For the love of God, stop giving me Arthur. that lost puppy look. So, you're speaking to me at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware Don't of the price on my head? Interest. The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. Always good to see you. Hello? You all right, Molly? Bored. All right. Why are you dressed as a sheriff? You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Our own cook. That's fine living. Okay. What do you think of the place? I don't know. So far, it seems okay, I guess. I think that there is rich pickings for some carpetbaggers like us. Huh. Is that what we are, is it? Avenging your father's death after 30 years? There's gold, Arthur. Gold. If you say so. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, then. Oh, damn. What? You got to drop some of that loan money in the box. How are things? Good evening, Arthur. Charles? I trust all's well. Oh, I'm sorry. Mr. Hardest worker in camp. Someone's got to do it. Well, don't let me disturb you. Thanks, Arthur. There he is. Evening, Arthur. You're keeping busy? Trying to. Well, don't let me stop you. All right, then. Evening, Arthur. Back up a bit, will you? Evening. Why are you being an idiot? My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. I will. Hey there. Why don't you just sit down instead of milling about the place? You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. Okay, Arthur. Hey. Hey. What are you working on? Fire arrows. Interesting. Mm. You give me a bottle of moonshine and I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm -hmm. Whiskey do? No. It has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Thank you. My pleasure. Go 
Okay. Hello, Uncle Arthur. I'm gonna catch fireflies tonight. You're a good kid. Thanks, Uncle Arthur. Ladies. Evening, Arthur. You seem a bit happier. Yes, I'm feeling good. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well, worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go rob some food. This way, on me. So you got a plan for that moonshine? I'm working on it. I might have met these crazies before. You've been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrified. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a... A glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west is... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge differently. Well, I guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. Sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their gold's still shining. And their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Yeah. Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna wanna strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. 
They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those reins in. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. Look there, the wagon. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back, they look like they're closest to you? Could be. Worth follow, at least. I think I see something. End of the avenue, between the trees. I might know this place. Old boys here are real tough. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bear. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. We can get a view on them. From that wall up there. Bring your sighted rifle, okay? I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. You see anything for your scope? Just a moment. When you've had a look, tell me what to do. I know dynamite crates when I see them. We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot, then I'll start shooting. Well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Gonna make a call? So? You're going in, kid. Give them both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. So may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my Just people. Just a moment longer. Uh, are you? Uh, have you? Will you be saved, my brother? Praise be. Huh? <laughs> Praise be! I want you out of here now, boy. Hey, Praise be, my people. Praise be. I said, get out of here. Uh, Praise be. Or a, a, a great miracle shall strike you down, my family. Get out of here, you darky! I said, a miracle shall strike you down. Get out of here, you nigger piece of shit. Praise be.
save your play acting for Jose and the girls. <laughs> Fine by me. As soon as you. Hey! You all be in right? Just body so far. I'll tell you when that changes. I think we should search the crates, Arthur.
Here. Come on. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yep. Go, go! Let's haul! Come on! G up! Fall in! Let's see how fast they run! Right. Coming our way. Keep it together. Hey! Stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons! We was, uh, doing some business with your brothers back there. You don't look like any kind of folk we deal with. You look just the opposite. Goddamn fair! anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods then, so to speak. <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like them, you know? Well, so do I. That's my better judgment. Just, you worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... Yeah, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. Camps in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. You keep your eyes open, Bill. Good morning, Arthur. Yep. Come in. 
Come on. Get this to Pearson. Ah, <laughs> no, boy, nearly done. So 
Hold up. I've lived here my whole life. Whole life? This, what, this what you call this? This ain't no... Hi? We got work. We are earning money. That's more than most. Barely enough to stay clothes and fast. I ain't gonna work for the Brayway my entire life. Not like my pop. Not like yours. Now this is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Never we'll talk about this later it. when we ain't being rudely That's interrupted. Town where <sighs> everyone's talking about leaving and never He'll does. come around once Ooh. he's settled. Hey, you got anything for me? Sift through, see what you like. Sure, let me see. No questions asked. You got a decent eye for these things by the looks of it. Sure, sure, I'll take another. You should see yourself. Hey, boy. Come here. Something else around here. Hello, today. boy. Madam, back here. Hey, ah, I'm only joking with you. Uh oh, mister. <laughs> good morning. Yes, good morning. Some real beautiful country around this area. I know. <laughs> Having fun, mister? You look like you're having fun. Shop drunker than I ever seen him. The next day, I heard he got dragged by his horse two towns over, looking like chewed meat. That's how it is.
out of the way! Okay there? Hi there. Whew, sure is some hard country around these parts. Well, look at you. Get that horse out of here! Just calm down. Yeah! I was thinking, even if I die, at least I won't have to see that board no more. Oh, I like that. Creeps always has done. Yeah, I'll remember that. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. All right. This will be some real good eating. Well, the quality's a bit lacking. We won't get much for it. For good and bad. Good job, Mr. Morgan. In this place, oh, this is the bad. Why are you dressed Green. as a sheriff? Delusion of these people. So, what do you think of this place? Better than your little hermit camp, right? Oh, it's wonderful, Arthur. Thank you for asking. Yep. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if I'm serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay. I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. If I'm gonna be performing, I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. 
So, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just going to rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move out. Starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. Edith should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan, I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. Got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Thank you. 